What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States of America. Uh, and in this episode, well, my campaign decided to uh, get corrupted. So what I, what I typically do is when I play a campaign, I've usually got two. So I kind of, you know, whatever's the latest version is the last episode I recorded. Whatever was the previous version, that was the, la the previous episode I recorded. So I'd go back to my uh, old USA uh, campaign, which was at this time it was USA 2, because USA 1 was the one that got corrupted. Step, I auto-resolved a few things to get back to back up to where we are. Oh, not delete. That's not the, that's the click to delete. This is the click to get out of here. Um, but as a result, some things have gone the same way. Like uh, Panama has happened. Uh, the invasion of Panama has happened. Um, some things haven't happened, like the destruction of the Grand Colombian Fleet. Yeah, because I was on the. You have just <laughs> no, quiet. To another nation. You cannot order it. I went to the. <laughs> I had to look at the Jamestown Settlers campaign. So now. I'm getting lots of. Uh, getting lots of advice now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, my settings are still on none, so it should be okay. Um, but yeah, this fleet hasn't been destroyed, and they've landed a fleet down by Florida, which is quite interesting. Um, it does mean this army here that previously got deployed. This army here that previously got deployed is going to be sent to... Oh god, I don't know how long that's going to go on for. This is going to be sent to Florida. Not alive. All because I went to a... Went to a <laughs> went to have a look at a new campaign. Embark the fleet. Okay, let's. That was one of their big fleets. Because because we we effectively fought a big fleet action last time. Um, just use these guys to smash them out of the way. There we go. Not going to bring anyone into the fleet. We don't really care that we about catching them. Um, because when we start moving against Grand Columbia properly, yeah, their fleet will be completely destroyed. The main objective was to free up the port so that we could just move these first. Oh no, not you. Move the fleet. Oh god, you didn't even bring the troops with you. Oh, it was the wrong fleet, that's why. There we go. Okay, so get the militia out of the way now. You men disembark. Evan J. Let's commit you straight into action against Ignacio Costa. Let's go take him out. Yeah, bit unfortunate that we have... That we, uh... Have the situation we have, but you know, not a huge amount that we can do. Um, yeah, I had to auto resolve a bunch of steps to get back to where we were. Um, but no matter, it won't realistically change things very much. We'll, we'll defeat this army um, entirely in a couple of turns, and then we'll carry on with our invasion of Grand Columbia. Let's get them out of the picture as soon as is possible. Then we can go all in on the goddamn invasion of Europe. Of, uh, yeah. Okay, deployment. Oh, that's a lovely hill position here. Excellent. Let's select our line. We're going to advance in good order. US Marines and skirmishers on one flank, Republican Guard and Provincial Scouts on the other. There we go. Lee's Legion, you look rather spiffy. They're going to be on the right flank. How it's form up. We're going to give them no quarter. I'm going to let all of my quick climbing howitzers shoot at their cavalry for the time being. Although they might just manage to run out of range. Aha, Lee's Legion. Advance at speed. Actually, let's make sure. Okay. 
do have sound. The rangers will start popping off shots against the light cavalry. Options. I'll select it again just to make sure, even though it was already none. Will these legion get stuck in? Back them up with the red with the um, Republican Guard. Keep the line moving. Keep everyone going. I mean, the art my foot artillery. Let's get them start engaging. The enemy horse artillery. And then get my quick climbing howitzers to start attacking their infantry concentrations. Although they're moving up at speed. This engagement here, I mean, it's only against light cavalry. They should go down fast, especially with the marines in there helping out. I can fold this flank. Oh, that's a good quick climb hits. I can fold this flank of the army in. Colonial light cav, drop into square, doesn't matter. Let's take both of these units, chamfer the corner off. Excellent, we've dealt with the enemy cavalry, get our marines up here quickly. Let's get Lee's legion over here as well. Hello. And the enemy irregulars. Look at him run. Yeah, they don't like that. They don't like that one bit. Chase the native bone auxiliary. Commit my crossier against the artillery. Get my foot artillery engaging the enemy foot artillery. Get Lee's Legion to run around the flank quickly. There we go. Chase them down. And get Lee's Legion to engage with musketry. The Marines are engaging. Excellent. Okay, that's the enemy line effectively annihilated. Let's run my troops up at speed, or most of them. There we go. All of them now. Against the other... Against the remaining troops. Where's my Lee's Legion? Get engaging. Get my general up here as well. Regiment of Horse is still doing well. Against the native Bowman Auxiliary. Yeah, they're getting some pot shots against my cavalry. That's to be expected and is fine. And my howitzers engage them with round shot. No, the range is still too short. Halt fire. I got some some friendly fire here from Lee's Legion from that quick fire, quick line fire. Come on, kill their generals there. Let the Colombians know what it means to land on our shores. Where is that their general? Nope. Give me Cressy to chase them down. Origin of Horse still hacking away at the native Bowman Auxiliary. There you go, chase them down. Six pounders are. <laughs> Six pounders are out in the mix again. I'm going to kill a few Marines in the on the charge here, I suspect. Yeah, 
Yeah, my rangers are killing a few infantry as so they'll be caught as they run through us. But here we go. The enemy are going to bravely take up positions to stand against us. It's not going to work. The first regiment, the second regiment, the 98th, the 106th, the 107th, 96th, 95th, the 108th. Oh yeah, good hits. Oh, excellent artillery hits. No, oh, let's push them back. The second regiment have also fallen. Uh, we're going to continue just because we've got a. Yeah, we want to make sure we try and kill some of these units. You kill them, chase after them. Uh, they're going to get to the edge of the map over here. She helped the Cressier chase down the 6th Regiment. They've spread out, so the pathfinding benefits will be immediately useful. And I think this is already the last unit on the map. There you go, last guy. Got him. Nice. Um, but yeah, we need to make sure that we keep our... Yeah. As we recruit troops in the north, uh, make sure we do... Well, we are going to deploy them um, against the... As a unit fights and survives... Quiet, you. I've already... Ready. Okay, right. Let's actually turn... Let's try this again. None. None. So even though they're both none already... <laughs> it seems to have worked for the battle advisor. You're waiting on one unit. Is that a unit you're actually recruiting, or is it something else? March. Looks like you can. Oh, there's a. Iron Master's works. Probably steal. I need a cavalry unit. Let's get a Curacia unit. It doesn't look like that's being recruited anywhere else. And then let's also immediately get to work on another general's bodyguard. Just we're at a point now we can start pumping out pumping out lots of troops. So we've still got Nathaniel Green marching south towards Mexico City. Uh, this force here in Panama is replenishing. Okay, that's pretty good. In Europe, um, our situation. Oh, bit of a lag there. Our situation is pretty stable. Let's send Nathaniel Wallace out to block the Baltic. This fleet can get into Portsmouth for repairs. Upgrade the engineering building. Agree to this. You you should be replenishing, or you need to be replenishing here in Lisbon. Don't have the funds. Um, that's fine. Uh, okay, you're doing some good converting. I think we do need to knock out uh, Malta just to secure our to help secure the Mediterranean Sea. We still have our eye on building up another uh, African army. This priest is en route to Cairo. Because lots of North Africa already has either churches or church or ministers in there doing convert conversions. Uh, but yeah, that's fine. I think. We've got no money anyway, so let's keep building up our armies, keep advancing south towards Mexico. But you should be... Yes, you're en route to Antigua. I think the next army we build... Well, this army is going to destroy this force, then land on Santo Domingo. And the next force... We, when this force is done, they're going to land and go after Caracas. And then we'll sweep on to Bogota. And then this, when we're near Bogota, this force can head northwest towards Antigua. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you're going to help defend the Spanish capital from... Rampaging Austrians, because Spain is a good republic. They're on our side. Okay, 
understandably, Mexico's a bit panicked about what's going on. I mean, I wish, I, I mean, I'm happy for Spain to keep Cuba for the time being. Uh, do I want to intercept this fleet? Absolutely not. Ah, oh, yeah, New Orleans roads. I mean, the Grand Colombian fleet's pretty good, but like like I said, the last battle we actually defeated, a, oh yes, invade, invade India, Spain, do it. That's really cool. Wait, do they get, I'm not, I'm not sure if I spotted if they got Ceylon. You want the Bahamas for 13 grand and some tech. Again, not bad, but no. No, Spain didn't get Ceylon, which is unfortunate. That would have been quite a good jumping off point for them. I'm inclined to keep Spain around. I may even give them back Santo Domingo. Give them Santo Domingo back. Make Spain a strong ally. And, see, and then let's see what they can do. And then we'll turn on them in an, ex, in an order 66 um, scenario. Although now, are we starting to get a bit of delays from the Ottomans? And let's give it a few more seconds. Yes, delays ahoy. So see you in a second, everyone. And we're back on their money. The, the Persians are chasing the, the Russian fleet away. And they're going after the Russian fleet in the Baltic as well. That's quite nice. Okay, Gogo Gadget, Norway. Protestant missionary recruited in Tripoli. I might actually try to get you up to Portugal, because Portugal... Oh no. You have a church school. Um, hmm. Maybe get you up into France. It probably won't do anything because they've got lots of. They should have a religious building in here. If they don't, well, let's just start converting. We've already got an agent over here. Let's just try and create some religious unrest. I think trade route raided. Yeah, not not terrible. You've done the same. We were temporarily blockaded here, but then let's use one of our spare sloops to go raiding your ports. There you go. One sloop, and I raided all of their ports. And if I sit in this port, it'll take them a while to get up there and stop me. Okay, big port blockaded. Yeah, you guys needed to repair. Have I got any fleets ready to deploy down here? I have one fleet ready to deploy. That's pretty good. Something like that. Porto, Galway. Yeah. Even though it's blockaded now, let's just upgrade it. It'll be in, f in future. It'll be free. Michigan Territory upgrade here. Port Royals maxed out. The Ari can be upgraded. Good stuff. Okay, you're all replenishing. Okay, let's send... Uh, let's send one of these four yes, threats. Yes, so ultimately, their original plan was to go and just to be, help build more trade fleets, but for the time being, we don't need to worry about that. Sir, put to sea. Let's go for Santo Domingo. We're just going to land off the coast. And that's fine. There we go. Vidal Roybal. Okay, let's go. Break the shipyard. We don't want a shipyard anyway. And let's waste their money. Okay, you're back up to full strength. You can't recruit any line infantry to defend yourself. Let's advance down the road. Texas. 
Let's get a governor's residence. We're building, we are building better roads. Upgrade the farms, upgrade the plantation. Let's really try to get these regions to be good earners. Corpus Christi's going to develop in eight turns. Got a hundred percent Protestant um, Protestant uh, congregation here at Santa Fe. So let's send our agent south. Texas is being converted anyway, quite rapidly. Another agent in England. Very well. Then we will deploy them also into. Oh. Interesting. Oh, I think I embark. Wait, where the hell did they go? Without further delay. Okay, we're also going to deploy them into Paris just to speed up their religious conversion and make them a bit more upset. Uh, diplomacy, Madrid, so Spain. I mean, rockets aren't super great, but here, have some rockets. Okay, so I... I mean, it's tempting to take Ceylon just so he can build a fleet to block off the Marathas. I should capture them, really. Let's check that we, there's no more trade regions we can go after. Uh, yeah, let's go after these. Let's go after these ships. Capture the big ones, send them back home. And to, build, to be built into more fleets. Then we can replace this fleet on station with a good one in South America. Good, good, good. In a way, this this is our um, this is our way of helping Spain. Keep the tra keep the trade lanes open, destroy Marathon forces to prevent them from potentially redeploying home, and protecting their capital or protecting their territories. Okay. Okay, something like that. Okay, I am going to drop the recording. This is going to take a long time. So, see you in a second, everyone. And we're back in the action. Uh, they're running par sort of parallel to us for a bit, but we're going to get the first shots off. Um, I'm only going to really get rid of time compression once they start. Something a bit more juicy starts to happen, and we start to actually uh, converge a bit more. Because until that happens, uh, we are kind of... <laughs> it's just a bit of a... Just gonna go just keep trading shots with them. Although cookery, there you go, cookery is shooting now. Although they are gonna slowly get ahead of us. Unless we go like this. Although to be honest, they're still gonna do that. Let's just cut ahead of them. Cut in behind them rather. Gonna make them happy. Oh, discovery's on fire. Tradition. Let's send some of my slower ships of the fleet at the back, just to start <laughs> start going a different direction. Okay, blast them with chain. Let's, let's get those masts off. Get them off. There we go. Wavering because they're dismasted. Okay, let's start to set the. Set up the route. Or we'll set up the, uh, the blockade. Let's 
get one broadside off. It's receiving sweep away a mast. Mizzen. Okay, apart from that, just run. Okay, you're gonna then. Okay, you're routing. You're just gonna run. Pummel with round shot. Discovery is going to fire at will with round shot as they make the turn. Actually, yeah, they're not on fire anymore. Full speed. Cookery's on. Cookery's routing again. On fire. Surrendered. Wavering again. Get a speed us up. Continue. We're not going to let this sucker get away, are we? No, sir. Although it's just going to be a matter of time making this ship surrender. Excellent. We don't want the fifth. We'll sit, we'll cash them off. So we can keep... Actually, the fifth sank, didn't it? Yeah. So we'll take these two. You back to America. You back to your trade spot. And this fleet here. Leslie Hook. Get out to East Africa. Hmm... Grand Colombian gentlemen are on the are running around. No actual fighting. Got six grand. Let's Abraham Pitt. That's a good, good general. Okay, let's start to recruit. Let's get a mounted tribal auxiliary. Let's get a regiment of horse and a cuirassier. Let's get three twenty-four pounders. 224 pounder howitzers, and then probably two skirmishers. Long rifleman, colonial light. Cool. Okay, I've done all this stuff. Path blocked, that was. Oh, okay, yeah. Nathaniel Green's gonna push south. Actually, should we try and assassinate their general? Let's, let's try it. Nope. Oh, yeah, we dealt with this guy. Okay, keep going down to Antigua. Did I see? Yeah, Russia's got Dagestan and Ardabil. Interesting. <laughs> and Grand Colombia's got Astrakhan. Okay, let's hit N10. Oh, nuts. I forgot to... <laughs> I sent them south to go deal with that Grand, Col Grand Colombian force. Uh, they moved. I forgot to move them. Classic. I mean, you can try run around me if you like. <laughs> yeah, you see, you've engaged me without support. So yes, Nathaniel Green will stand his ground. Yeah, I have to wonder if the AI planned on moving them in for uh, support. Especially support on the flank, but they didn't get it. Dear, oh dear. Right, let's get cracking. Ooh, nice. Okay, potentially a bit vulnerable if they push up here too far onto our flank, but I don't think they're going to do that. But what I can do is deploy a line. Put my. Put a couple of. Elite units up here to protect it. Because they can run up here by the looks of it. I could put some... Although they can run up here as well. Yeah, that'd be alright. 
grenadiers on the flank. A lot of skirmishers that are going to hold to see where the best position is. Bowmen just deployed behind the lines. Two 12 pounders deployed to the rear. How it's a deploy popping off cavalry. Then the fourth continental light dragoons who look great, although not very pleased. They can get ready to deploy. Nathaniel Green, who is now very old. Surprised he's not dead yet. And our regiment of horse. Also get over here. Okay, let's put our skirmishers out wide. See if we can lure them in. Uh, how it's just fire round shot. Anyone in any range? Nope. We're engaging enemy artillery. They've got two 12 pounders. They'll probably not. I mean, they've already hit my 12 pounder and hurt people. How it's are popping off shots. Yeah, they've killed two of my gunners. One of my guns is bugged. You're not actually firing. Although, to be fair, I've not actually given you an order to fire. Sometimes that happens. Okay, that's ch that's convinced their cavalry. Yeah, they just went firing at will. That's convinced their cavalry's charge, though. I heard it. Yeah, a great charge from the colonial dragoons. Switch my howitzer to, ca to uh, quick climb shot. See a colonial cavalry unit attacking. But they are within range of all of my skirmishers plus my light dragoons, which who which were deliberately placed up on this hill. Fire over the top of my line. Excellent. Okay, it's going to reload and engage the third regiment. Continental Marines. I mean, if they wanted to just run into us, just form square. Oh, they're all dismounting. Excellent. Feel free, sir. To engage our line traditionally. Okay, we're making their gun crews waver. There you go. Our line's going to engage the Dragoons, who foolishly dismounted in front of our main line. Gunners are reloading. That's their general unit. Ooh, make sure you turn light infantry behaviour off. They're, fi they're firing after the cavalry unit, even after it's withdrawn. So you've got to keep an eye on that. They'll keep shooting even after they've got the target they were shooting at completely out of range. Yeah. Let's do some time compression to watch them advance up into our lines. Oh, that infantry unit's been obliterated, so let's change our howitzer target. Yeah, the 11th Regiment of Foot. That's a significant amount of damage there. Get my Light Infantry out on the flank. Get my Continental Dragoons out on there. The flank as well. I get a long rope when they're in a position to start shooting. This game is rather pretty. Aha! Just out of range for my grenadiers. Still, lots of skirmishes. That's my continental dragoons are going to give them a blast. There we go. Okay, let's not have my elite sat up here doing nothing. 
pushed him down the hill. And all my light infantry is going to start picking off this infantry unit on the flank. Grenadier unit, no less. Let's do some blank blanking shenanigans. Push my line up. Constant withering fires getting these guys put down. Fly by rank should really break blank, sure. Go on, US Marines. There you go, quick climb dealt with them. Start to target. Actually, let's switch to round shot and get them to plink my colonial cav. We're going to plink their colonial cav, rather, not my colonial cav. Okay, commit my cavalry. Pursue and destroy. Yeah, enemy line is. Crumbling. You go after the grenadiers. Strictly speaking, you should probably go after the line infantry first. Where's Nathaniel Green? Let's get him. Actually, no, you have to go a bit further back. Hold shift and right clicking all the time. Foot artillery engage the other battery. Yeah, kill the dragoon no, kill the grenadiers my precious dragoons no, you chase the colonial line excellent there we go all that's left is their artillery but we know how the AI works Especially when there's a large route like this. See, they're already coming back. Cavalry, that is. Okay, let's go after that artillery unit, just because it's isolated. Artillery ceasefire. You men. My marines are coming to get you. Ah, we'll probably be fine. Daniel Green, get over here. And yeah, my marines are in against the general's bodyguard. I think that's going to be the end of them. Ah, oh, they they cleared crew the guns. Perfect. Actually, get the yeah, get the auxiliary. Why the hell not? Yeah, they've killed some of my men, but their cavalry are falling thick and fast. Come on, kill the last three infantry. The last infantry man. Okay, cool. Get over here. Kill the last two dragoon. Uh, why do I keep talking about dragoons? Okay, general, go get him. Nice. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now you're in the mix. You're getting some kills. So my regiment of horse—they're on the way. Just give them a, a unit. 
Not really bothered about which. Excellent. Let's, put, let's just ride into the massive blob, actually, and just do as much damage as we can. They're going to get away. There's a unit behind us. They're going to get. They're going to get away. Just make sure this happens. Chomp. There we go. That was one Mexican army. You want to send another? Very nice. Plenty room for more. <laughs> There's something going on. Oh no. Yeah, they're engaging the Spanish ships that are raiding their ports. That's fine. You can do what you like. Bad times are coming for you. You can raid my sugar plantations as much as you like. You know that pain's coming. We march on your capital city. We bring death. <laughs> no, get inside. Get inside. So then when we attack, we know you are doomed. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> First order on the docket. Deal with those guys. And we're going to do it by sea. Ooh, the British are sending an army against someone. If they get too antsy, we'll just invade Norway. Yeah, the Austrians have pulled back <laughs> one of their attacking armies. Sardinia for threshing machine and money. No. The Marathas. Yeah, they, they ticked on quite quickly. Okay, let's see if the Ottomans do the same tricks. They most likely will. Yes. Uh, okay. I'm going to chop the recording, so see you guys in a sec- Ooh. It got a bit- it stepped forward a bit. Nah. Okay. See you in a second, everyone. And we're back off. Russians have got a big fleet in the Straits of Madagascar. The Persians are sending yet another fleet to attack the Russian home port, so I'd imagine. Hmm. Attempting to knock out Norway just to help that start uh, knocking down the turn times by knocking out factions. Otterbrander is under attack, that's fine. We're not first order of business. You men, pick up Ross Butler. No, Ross Butler's the Admiral. You men get to Mobile. Uh, make sure I do this correctly. Get him! The uh, obviously they uh, they ran away that direction. Although we can chase after them. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Evan J, get back here. Replenish. Port blockaded. Don't care. A College of Divinity. Yeah, I didn't want to lose Louisiana. It's got some good trade. Got some good uh, resource production. Yeah, we're getting the roads. Can you leave yet? Minus five, minus five. Not too far away. You're all, everyone's still on their way. Recruits. She can go to this fleet. They're reasonably good enough as it is. Actually, they've got ships they don't need. There we go. Meriwether Rodney. Lots of good traits gained. You, we will, we will fight this. I'm just gonna make sure I don't forget anything. 
you've not done anything because you don't really want to push you out. We're going to run you over to Rio de la Hacha. It'll take them a little bit longer for them to run over here. Uh, you guys, Nath you, Nathaniel Green, probably want to hit Ambrosio Marichal. Just keep knocking them back towards the capital city. Then we will replenish and build up our strength before the final assault on Mexico City. Meanwhile, Panama, yeah, the objective of Panama is to split off Mexico and Gran Colombia from supporting each other. At least supporting themselves over land. All right. Okay, we've taken we've taken enough losses. Well, actually, our entire army is kind of the same. All of our infantry units are kind of the same size. Except for my skirmishes, they're all in great nick. So let's mash my cavalry over by the skirmishes. How it says my foot artillery might not get a huge amount of action. How it's on the other hand. Native bone auxiliary, okay. Storm up at speed. We are not interested in... No time for caution. Let's get moving. Especially if they're going to surrender the hill. I mean, these guys are going to push and attack us. I immediately made them change direction. Oh, I don't want to go for them. They crashed into us nonetheless, so you men are not going to shoot. You're just going to shoot your men in the back. Yeah, the light cavalry is going to fall. Unless our squares break. Now they're wavering. Keep the squares going. Those men are on that cavalry unit's under fire. I'm not going to worry about where they're charging to. Okay, there we go. You men have bravely held them off. So have you. No grenadiers, no. Advanced point blank range. Engage them, throw the grenadiers in. Okay, the hill is able to be taken largely. Yep, storm up to the crest of the hill. You men engage the frontiersmen. Throw this unit into the back of the this infantry unit here. Artillery direct fire support against the frontiersmen. Quick climbs hammering the core of their line back here. But yeah, in the woods. We're storming up through. You men engage the enemy gunners. These marines take positions to start engaging the frontiersmen. Native bowmen auxiliary get up here as well. So you men take out the other gunner. Like 
So in quick climb, just keep hammering the ground right here. There again, my light infantry got a good angle. My men on the hill are opening fire. Here we've got to jump on the enemy artillery. Frontiersmen are going down. You men form up. Actually, you men bail and charge the frontiersmen. Form up. And take another small unit, fill in the gap. Grenadiers over here. Push down towards the next enemy threat position. Let's charge over the hill and engage the enemy general. Quick climb, engage the 20th. Ooh, you men are not strong enough to take on that line on your own. Stand back. Hold the line. Kill their flanks. Yeah, lots of... See, there's sludge run advance up the hill. But this is where we're making our stand. Quick line. Advance Mr. Green up into the hills. Okay, the colonial line on the left flank is advancing up. Fold my grenadiers into the line. We will creep my native bone auxiliary up to stay hidden to keep engaging the colonial line with bow fire. Hey, come on, let's get up here. Come on, kill the general. We're being shot by our infantrymen that are missing are killing our cavalry. There we go. Well, I think there might be... Yeah, yeah that's working. Okay, now we're wrapping around that flank. Ooh, friendly fire. Quick load the artillery. Twenty sixth, going down. Can you men follow the contour of the hill? Skirmishes get up top. Continental light dragoons run around and try threaten this unit. Bowmen are still getting them with. They're still firing arrows into them. Oh, they're advancing forward. My gra other grenadiers can get involved now. You advanced a bit too far, officer. Yeah, that's all they've got left now. We're not going to resist the temptation to charge them in. Instead, we're going to get some more firepower into the mix. Oh, quick climb just landed. Back you men go. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Big loss for the Mexican Empire. Now, Nathaniel Green. Close your men. Sight yourself in the high ground. 
near the hill, near the city itself. Your orders. You keep pushing to Antigua. There are no reinforcements, no serious reinforcements on the horizon that we can see. Getting over to Mexico. Let's take Santo Domingo from Vidal Royal. Um, I don't think we are we are going to give this to Spain. Spain, whatever territory Spain captures, they can take. If they don't capture it, it's ours. Because it'll only be territory we have to fight to get back later on. So we're going to do something very similar. Overwhelm them with artillery. Ooh, city battle. And there's not really a way to avoid it. How it's fight. Okay... Foot artillery, deploy on the flank and just pummel whatever you can see. Okay. Marines, Marines, Grenadiers, Republican Guard. You're going to be the heavy hitters. Just attach a couple of units of infantry to push either. Let's maybe nick one unit like so. Skirmishers can go through the centre to see if there's any opportunistic gains. Split the cavalry up. General in the centre. Alright, let's get popping. US Marines. Go there. Republican Guard. Go there. Okay. Right, you men are just going to try and make a, a thunder run. Looking out for enemy skirmishes. Their artillery is in a good place to be engaged. And their light cavalry wants to charge us. Can all of you just hop into squares for me, please. My artillery's making merry with their artillery. And our howitzers are as well. It's very nice. Still in square. They're wavering. Form square, because they're going to run around and charge us. my this infantry over here to help protect the guns who are you charging in the rear okay elite infantry in position volley fire present Engage the native bowman auxiliary, lest they go after my guns. Yeah, you're in square formation. New men get over here. Fourth Continental Light Dragoons, advance. Okay, artillery. Obliterate the infantry close. This congregation of artillery and infantry, they're done for. Bayonet charge the 19th. Excellent. Can you actually might push up here, smash the flank of the first grenadiers? There's the enemy skirmishes. Let's go, let's go get them. Skirmishes, give them a good amount of infantry support. But apart from that, everyone else engage the enemy infantry. Why are you wavering? Oh, you're being fired out on the flank, I see. 
Okay, how it says start to quick climb these infantry units that are pushing through and being sneaky. Cavalry's abandoned attacking Y square. Why are you wavering? If, you're being sh See, if it's because you're being shot at, should, you should be okay with that still. Foot artillery engaged, the mounted tribal auxiliary. Let's get this inf get this cavalry over here quickly. Okay, get my continental marines over here. Team and kill the infantry. Cavalry hit the musketman auxiliary. Throw in the marines. Actually, maybe just try to go for the block. A bit late for that, really. Okay, let's try and deploy some units to shoot to the. Well, actually, no, don't run too far that way. In come the marines! More marines! Cuirassier love the scrap. Go on, get the light infantry involved as well. Yep, you got hit by quick climb. <laughs> yeah, that was what I was afraid of happening. I was like, you know, don't push up too far. Oh, no, like, yeah, I killed way more Republican Guard than I did with their infantry. They might well have been too close. Eh, yeah, it's fine. Curacia, Dragoons, Continental Marines, kill their general. Foot artillery, smash the bejesus out of the 9th Regiment. Form up a new line. Howitzers, round shots. The 9th. Form line. Drag the general out of his saddle and shoot him on the ground like a dog. Ah, oh, yeah, he's, he's going to get away. Well, he's going to be taken prisoner. That's what's going to happen to him. Light infantry are up and already shooting at the ninth. Yep, they've had enough. They have had enough. Uh, it could possibly kill the general in battle. Not that it really matters. We have our victory. Excellent. Let's get replenishing. Get rid of the shipyard. Let's get the 4th rate to guard the port as we're upgrading it. Get rid of the shipyard as well. Oops. More goods. Don't need our church school. Yeah, don't need any more Catholicism around here. No, sir. Cool. Okay, good replenishment. That's been done. Okay, recruitment. Yeah, your recruitment is ongoing. Okay, I did see you somewhere. You could get a unit of native warrior auxiliary. So we've got skirmishers, got a whole bunch of our line. 
We can still recruit more of the 4th Continental. Let's go for more infantry. Excellent. The Sloop Glory, you can cover Liagane, Liagane, Liagane. Let's build two sloops out of port of pay Nice, and that's all pretty well done. We're not going to upgrade the port. Let's hit end turn. <laughs> Just causing chaos now. I mean, Paris, we could make... If we made Paris rebel into France, that would be quite funny. And then we would try and make them our ally, same as Spain. And then just support them as a puppet to fight Austria. That would be quite fun, I think. At what point is Mexico going to say, actually, should we make peace? Well, I'm going to go, no, no peace. You're done for me, old mucker. You can sail your navies around and do and conduct as much economic warfare as you like. We are not interested. All of the ports we carry about are protected. Oh, that ship's going to die. Yeah, so they are causing a reasonable amount of economic damage um, against us from blockading all these ports and raiding all these trade zones. Um, but not enough for it to really matter. If that makes sense. We, we, you know, we, we're making reasonable amounts of money. Um, if it was critical, we would start sending our fleets around to hunt and destroy their navy. Um, but we we know that the end will be reached rapidly uh, ashore. So let's see if the Ottomans are continuing their shenanigans. Actually, we might be reasonably rapid. I think we will. Cool. Okay. But yeah. The main thing is to keep recruiting armies to destroy the destroy the uh, Mexicans and Grand Colombians. I think what I probably am going to do is invade Scandinavia, take out Norway, destroy the British, and then start to uh, land in on the northern coast of Europe against the Austrians. That's going to be the name of the game. It's so now Russia. What will Russia do? Yeah, they got a lot of ships out at uh, sea. Pirating. I think I need to increase my coastal raiding fleet against the, Aust the Austrian um, Atlantic coast. I think they are they're getting a bit too much use out of those regions for me. Kingston's blockaded, that's fine. Okay, let's so let's upgrade. This global trading company, let's play Bristol. Let's upgrade you. Okay, it's a big concentration of firepower we've got in in this part of the world. Start recruiting sloops just to continuously hold um, enemy ports at risk. We have another agent. Okay, Bastia. Just focus on the economy. New Orleans, let's get the State House. Army board we've upgraded. Clearances at the Rio Grande. Minus four, minus five. Eventually it's time to get religious happiness, which is nice. Okay, you're in a okay, what fleet is that? Okay, not a super good fleet, we can deal with that. There we go. 
Get these two ships from the Maratha fleet that we captured. Put into Yorktown for repairs. Any order? Excellent. Ready for orders. And you're still replenishing, so you're not going to attack yet. Lots of good recruitment. Election results. Okay, we'll check that in a minute. I want to make sure I get my... Get this priest yeah. over to <laughs> over to France. Oh, it's starting to grow. We're not growing religious unrest yet, but clamour for reform is quite high. So soon they're going to have to start building a, putting um, garrison troops in there, which is pretty, which would be pretty nice. Oh, actually, we've got our raiding sloops. Ooh, that's a lot of Austrian troops. Okay, let's. No, oh, not both of them. Vermont, get back to Waterford. Cool, okay, that's their, most of their Atlantic coast dealt with. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, this force here, you're going to do some good helping head. I mean, they do lots of raiding, but they're not able to get into the capital properly. So this agent, yeah, you're making your way. Making your way up to Paris. We could run, we could sail them over, but not that bothered about making it happen too quickly. We've already got two agents, and a third is on the way. 3% a turn. That's not insignificant for a town that size. Okay, you're, that's ongoing. State house, let's build a church school, I suppose. Industry would be good, but I think we need... We're going to need a few priests to make sure that we convert this area. Um, but that's all that done. You're still holding. Our recruitment here is ongoing. One more turn to you. You have a bunch of ships that are done. Abram Pitt, you've got enforcing column from Boston. Good. Plus you've got some native auxiliary coming from somewhere else. Who is it from? Okay, let's make sure. Well, it might not necessarily be from Texas. We're recruiting it from somewhere. What I do want to do is make sure that we max out our recruitment of that unit. Actually, you are recruiting one from somewhere. Not sure where. I mean, yeah, you're my... Yeah, I should send you into the fight, really, rather than keeping you as a defensive army. Yeah, let's get you a sloop. Um, but to kick this episode off with... Well, to end this episode on a bit of a high note, or higher note... Ooh, if we do this, we might incur the wrath of Russia. Ah, what the hell. Declare war. Call our allies. Norway. Russia has abandoned Norway. Excellent. Jared. Aga. 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 Okay, first of all, you're going to smash your way through this fleet. Pretty, yeah, just take them out. Ooh, lost three ships. Eh, plenty more where they came from, including in the fleet that's just arrived. There we go, well. Land off the coast. Ooh, 
land them off the coast. Gathering supplies. On our way, Captain. Come on. Foraging supplies. Setting up camp. Why are you not? Fine, we'll do this the long way then. Put into Bergen. Disembark the army. And because they're being funny about transport, I need to be careful about moving these other armies around. Either way, Nathaniel Wallace. You can take... Yeah, you lost three ships, so we'll... Take three ships, combine them. You men get out of the way. Get some repairs underway at Greenwich. You can keep recruiting sloops because we're going to need them to sail our invasion armies across. One will be fine for now um, to push on towards Christiana. Then we'll take out Stockholm. Cool. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the United States. Cheers, everyone.